Hey everybody, I'm Catherine and I am here today with the TMI tag. I thought it was a great way for you guys to be able to get to know me better. I don't actually think I was tagged by anyone, but I thought it'd be fun. So here goes. So what are you wearing? I am wearing, as you can see, a purple t-shirt with a pocket decal. Oh, pockets. And because I'm filming in the basement, it's really cold down here and I am wearing my lovely red sweater jacket because, yeah. And then I'm wearing a pair of leggings because I hate wearing actual pants at home if I don't have to. Pants are the enemy. Have you ever been in love? Uh, no. Mm -mm. No. Unless you count my love of books, then yes. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? I've always been the one to break up with the person, so no, but karmically speaking, I'm about to have it handed to me, so I'll keep you updated. How tall are you? Last I checked, I was about five, six, give or take. I don't know, I have my short days too, so who knows? How much do you weigh? It is inappropriate to ask a lady how much she weighs. Like, oh my god, do you have any tattoos? Uh, yeah, actually, I do have one tattoo. It is of the, on the middle of my back, in between my shoulder blades, and it's three stars, like, together, touching. Yeah. How about piercings? I only actually have my ears pierced. I'm only wearing one set of earrings right now, but I do have two holes. Your one true pairing? OTP. Ooh, my one true pairing? Hmm. Uh, 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 I don't know. I have so many of them. But I always did want Hermione to end up with, like, Draco in the end. Okay. What is your favorite show? I have many favorite shows, and Sophie wants in on the action. Uh, right now, I'm going through and watching Bones from the very beginning on Netflix, but um, I love the British shows like Skins. Skins is awesome. If you have not watched Skins, you need to watch Skins. And Doctor Who, and oops, get out of my face. But yeah, so, so many shows. I am a huge TV buff. Like, I just love binge watching. Do you have a favorite band? Favorite bands? Um, well, I do love Fall Out Boy, but I can no longer listen to them while driving because they make me drive way too fast. Um, I love David Bowie. I saw him in concert. He was my very first concert going experience and it was amazing. I love Kiss. I love Black Sabbath. Oh my goodness. I love oh, Imagine Dragons. It's very, very widely spread love going on for the music, but I do love my music. What is something that you miss? Well, I miss a lot of things. I miss my dad. I miss the West Coast. I miss being the weight I was in high school. I miss living by myself. That's a big one because my mother's driving me crazy. How about a favorite song? Do you have one of them? My favorite song differs all the time. Um, I just, I love, I love classic songs that you just like know all the words to. Like, I love Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy because I can just like belt it out in the shower, word for word. And I love like, oh my goodness, like stuff from uh, Culture Club and the things from the 80s, just, yeah, my, my favorite song differs from day to day. How old are you? I am 26 and a half. I have hit my quarter life crisis already. Hey there, what's your zodiac sign? I am a Scorpio. I don't know exactly what that says about me, but I feel it says a lot. What kind of qualities do you look for in a partner? Oh my god, what don't I look for in a partner? He needs to be able to make me laugh. He has to have a job. Preferably not living with his parents, but in today's economy, I mean, that has a little bit of wiggle room. Um, he needs to not have any, like, old baggage like girlfriends. No girlfriend baggage. No. Do you agree? Yeah. He has to love dogs, obviously, because I have my two monsters. The other one's sitting next to me on the chair. 
uh, yeah, he has to like doing things. He can't just be the type of guy that, you know, sits in front of a computer screen for 24 hours all the time. He has to be tall, dark, and handsome, of course. I mean, if he had an accent, that'd be awesome. Not necessary, though. Uh, he has to have some of the same interests I do. He cannot make fun of any of my videos because that is not nice, unless it's done in pure jest, and in that case, I laugh at a lot of things. So that plays into the humor part. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could probably go on. What is your favorite quote? I have no idea what my favorite quote is. I have a lot of them like pinned to boards on Pinterest that I love. I just don't necessarily think I have a favorite one. Who is your favorite actor? Favorite actor is like asking favorite book. I mean, it's hard to just choose because they all have really good qualities. I love Vin Diesel, especially his voice. I love the late Paul Walker because hello sexiness. Um, oh my goodness, I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I love all the Doctor Who actors because they pick really amazing people to be on the show. What is your favorite color? Purple. Mm-hmm. Purple. Do you like your music loud or soft? Uh, loud music when I'm by myself and in my car. Soft music when I'm trying to concentrate on something. And usually it's a middle ground. Where do you go when you're sad? Bed. Or into the bathtub. Baths always fix everything. So, how long does it take you to shower? That depends. I can take pretty long showers, but usually it's just because I like being warm and yeah, but I can take a shower in five minutes if need be. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Am I putting on makeup or not? Because like five minutes, yeah. Showering factors in a bit more there, but I'm pretty, not, not like I don't yeah it doesn't take me long at all I pretty much roll out of bed and I'm out the door deodorant though deodorant is a must and brushing your teeth have you ever been in a physical fight uh yeah, kind of I mean I grew up on the farm so I used to have to like wrangle in the horses and that was pretty physical and I sometimes got hurt but uh with the person no no, I'm a big old pussy and I run away. What's your turn on? Uh, personal hygiene and a love of dogs. What's your turn off? No personal hygiene and basically douchebags. Yeah, Ed Hardy, you're out. What is the reason you joined YouTube? So I first joined YouTube because Christy the Story Siren started doing her in my mailboxes several years ago in video form and I thought that was really neat. So I started doing that and then slowly from doing the in my mailboxes I ventured off into actual video reviews and then now it's even evolved further into like tags and discussions and stuff like that. What are your fears? I really don't like the dark. I mean like even in my own house where I know what's there it like you kind of get that quickening of your heartbeat yeah and I don't like spiders or snakes or yeah lots of things but no irrational fears and no phobias so I guess that's a good thing what is the last thing that made you cry I think I might have cried while watching an episode of bones the other day but yeah in real life it takes a lot to make me cry in like fictional life hell no I can cry at anything when was the last time you said you loved somebody? Uh, probably to my mother. I don't actually know. I don't keep mental track of the last time I told someone I loved them. I said it recently to a friend of mine. I, yeah. I say it to my dogs all the time. I love you, Sophie. What is the meaning behind your YouTube name? Okay, so not many of you know, but I actually started off on YouTube as Disillusioned, Disillusioned Cynic. So that came from when I did, was doing my entrance stuff to university and I had a meeting with a sex and culture professor and he asked a question about like utopian society and I gave him the only answer in the group that said it pretty much wasn't possible <laughs> and he called me a cynic. So yeah, that's where that one stemmed from. Ms. Lady Critic actually came from my blog name, which is the Lady Critic's Library, and the Lady Critic was already taken. So, 
yeah, I had to improvise on that one. What was the last book you read? I actually have the last book I read sitting right next to me. And it was The Vincent Boys, oh my gosh, The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines. And I will shortly be filming a review for this one because it was pretty good. What book are you currently reading? Um, I'm currently doing Legend by Marie Lu on audiobook because I just could not get into the physical book, which sucks because the audiobook always takes so much longer. What's the last show you watched? I was watching the Queen Latifah show before I decided to not watch the Queen Latifah show anymore and start filming some videos. Who was the last person you talked to? I last talked to my mother as she was leaving the house with a friend of hers. Uh, she sometimes has more of a social life than I do. What's the relationship between you and the last person you texted? Oh my god, I did. Oh, oh, I do know the last person I texted. It was a coworker asking me if I could work tonight and I said no. Um, yeah, but she's, she's my coworker and we have a good work relationship. Mm, what's your favorite food? Oh my god, I love food. I, I love food. What place do you want to visit? Where don't I want to visit? I want to visit more of the states. I did a road trip last fall and it was awesome. So I want to hit up all the states I haven't seen. I want to do Ireland, Wales, Scotland, England, France, Germany, Holland. I want to go to Prague. I want to go to South Korea. I want to do Australia. I just, I want to travel everywhere. Where's the last place you were? I mean, are, are we talking like, different places or are we talking like I was just in the bathroom? Do you have a crush? Currently no. And the reason behind that is that I live in a town where I'm related to roughly half of the male population that is my age and the other half are big redneck drunks. So no. When was the last time you kissed somebody? When was the last time I kissed someone? I mean I kiss my dogs but last time I kissed someone. Oh my God, has it been that long? Yo, when was the last time you were insulted? I am insulted on a daily basis. Usually it is in jest and I counter back with an equally scathing insult. But yeah, insults happen on a regular basis here. What's your favorite flavor of sweet? Ooh. I love black licorice. I know I'm a minority on that under the age of like 50, but I do love black licorice. And okay, you know the black side or the dark side Skittles? Eating a handful of them at the same time, that is the best flavor ever. What instruments do you play? Uh, okay, so I can play a little bit of piano. And by a little bit, I do mean a little bit. I can play the recorder a little bit and the clarinet a little bit. But I mean, that's, yeah. I probably wouldn't be able to pick them up now and play them because I, yeah. Mm -mm. What is your favorite piece of jewelry? My favorite piece of jewelry is the ring that I wear all the time. Can you see it? See the ring, see the ring. Uh, my dad got it for me for my 18th birthday and I barely ever take it off. What was the last sport you played? <laughs> I don't play sports. What was the last song you sang? Oh, God only knows. Something in the shower, probably something embarrassing. Um, yeah, I know. What is your favorite chat up line? Do I have a favorite chat up line? I don't know if I do. Usually the cheesier the better. And if it can make me laugh, you're golden. Have you ever used it? Oh God, probably, but not in like seriousness because that is just a little too cheesy, but yeah. Have you ever played that game with friends where you just like, you walk by them and you say the random line as you're walking by? Yeah, I've done that a lot. When was the last time you hung out with somebody? Uh, a couple days ago, I hung out with my friend Emily. I was helping her with her driver stuff. I hang out with people from work all the time because I'm usually at work and if I'm not at work, I manage to make my way into work and stay longer than I probably should because yeah. And finally, who should answer these questions next? I think everybody should answer these questions next because they are super fun and it lets people get to know you better. That's why I did it. So I know I'm supposed to tag 10 people, but I know this one's been going around for a really long time, so I'm not gonna tag anybody. 
But yeah, if you want to watch the original one, it was created by It's Way Past My Bedtime and I can link that down below. And yeah, let me know if you do this tag and I will go check it out because it's always fun to learn things about people. Until next time guys, happy reading, bye. Is that what you think of this? Well then. <laughs>